doing it for him. Yeah, Nera isn't specifically a really strong like strong move, but if you're on um, near the ledge of the stage and a very high percentage, it will kill eventually. So Alright, so we got Excel loser takes it. We got losers finals. Hug West versus XL. Yep. We got we got the, the, the weekly trio with uh, Mars not being around of oh, who's gonna be top three at GU. Game one, we're going to Smashville right now. And earlier today, actually, do I want to see? I think. I'm not positive. Hello? Excuse me? What did I just see? I just, I, <laughs> he just died. <laughs> that is a very dead man. He is. I was going to say, I think first game, he went, but first day he went Fox against yeah. um, Pug West. I think he did, but I'm not positive. Maybe okay. I'm wrong. Oh, I thought he was going to SD himself there. Going to tie it up, but uh, not going to make that. Actually, Pug uh, had a very uh, good setup where I thought he was going to confidently um, gimp XL97 there. But actually, XL getting the limit just in time to barely save himself with those magnet hands. Dancing Blade? Yeah. And this is a situation, Pug just wants to get him to the side and then just murder him. Oh, yeah. He wants to gimp him or just, um, yeah. just get something to um, kill him with, like, with, like Ooh, or anything. Neither like of that. these guys are afraid of and each just other. Like they that. play every week, and with that. No punches are being held. Especially when you just charge forward smash and just kills him right off the ledge. Yeah. So. so Pug, uh, even in the stocks, but it's going to take um, only like just really getting Winning XL. neutral a ton. Yeah. He doesn't even have to win it a ton. XL is actually pretty far away from having that limit. If he can just push him into a bad situation where he loses jump, that it could be a dead XL literally within like 10%. From oh, that. yeah. It's uh, a nice forward air there. Gets a nice back air as well. And if any if anybody's good at holding out, uh, making the wall for the in, for the opponent, Pug is super strong at that. Um, and, you know, we even saw it today. You know, Cac tried to recover. We saw no no oh, recovery, yeah, no, no stocks taken. No mercy. Use use um smartly use counter against yeah. him twice and, every single time. And so for him, it's no you know his opinion is like it's no different, right? Yeah, he's got a big sword, but. The moment I get you off stage, you're done. Yeah, basically. And Pug's just playing for that. He doesn't like, okay, maybe I steed, but if I can just get one favorable trade off stage without limit, that is a man who is dead, deader than dirt. And that's all he needs for this match. Either that or high percentage, he gets a, a jab to a forward smash with Tipper. Yep. So that's all he needs. One of those two and options. also down tilt. Down tilt is brutal against a, sl uh, a oh, non, yeah. non ledge grab recovery like up e from. Uh, cloud. Oh yeah, because Cloud doesn't snap the ledge. Oh. That's actually true. Nice forward oh. in there, and that's gonna. Uh. This is the situation that he was looking for all along, and Pug is gonna take it there, just a little too late for that ledge, uh, for that platform to come up, and it's, he's gonna have to, have to take too long to try to get to it. Yeah, you're expressing it. You're uh, sorry about that. You're expressing it throughout the whole entire match. Get him off stage once, and there's and there's yeah. no platform in the way. There's, he's gonna die easily, and that's what he did. He's just waiting for the moment, and he finally got it. Puck probably being like, I just did it on purpose, <laughs> right? Yeah, because you know, I gave you that first talk. You, you, you know. SD, you know what? I want to be nice to you, so I just that's your game. I'll just give you that game. You know, Pug West going full Donald Trump here. He's gonna build that wall. <laughs> and who's and who's gonna build it? The DLC characters. <laughs> All right. he's, he's, he's trying to keep the DLC out of the game. Political commentary aside, game two on Lila. <laughs> <laughs> nice jazz, but doesn't get anything off it, like a jab to four tilt. Mm -hmm. Nice forward air. He gets to, um, doesn't get the spike part of it, but still gets pretty decent damage. As he gets the um, limit break, so he's got it. Pug at 99%. Pretty da not dangerous right now. Nice spike, but doesn't really do anything off it. Um, yeah. Pug, Pug texts it. I mean, this is this is just the nature of this uh, this matchup. It's very volatile for both players because uh, one like one is gimpable and the other is just going to be com end up being combo food for days. Yeah, combo food for days, and once he has a limit break, any moment the match can change yeah. at like decently high percent, All and right. he's going to be able to he's recover. Fine. Oh, just a little too early with that down air, um, too far away. Not even able to do anything. It's a nice but. tip of forward air there. But it's only 66%, and it looks like XL is losing, even though he's up almost 100%. Right? But that's oh, just yeah. the nature of the situation. Until he gets that kill, 
Back that is that is something. It always feels like it's going to be even when it's when it's either someone a player as good as Pug or Mr. E. Uh, when those two guys play, you know, there's there's going to be some hands to catch. That's for sure. But he had jump, but apparently he lost jump trying to recover. Uh, maybe try to recover high and eat the um, maybe an F tilt. So he's going to die there first. And Pug at 159. This is not a situation XL wants to be in, especially oh, yeah. with all of that rage. Especially off stage too, and Pug yeah. with a complete stage control right now. And like it's it's going to be take it's going to take a while for XL to find something, but he's able to find it there. What I was going to say is is that um, he's like try, definitely spending his time trying to fish for a kill, which makes him vulnerable in certain situations. It's a oh. nice spike there. Trying to go for the um, spike, but he actually tumbles in like, on the ground, giving him invincibility frames. Um, just for a second, a little too early with that uh, up smash. But if he charged it, ooh, that would have been. It would have been so clean. It would have been so clean. <laughs> just a tipper forward, forward air there. Mars trash talking his brother in chat. Love it. Yeah, but team play, he doesn't do but this is actually the reverse situation where now, X. Uh, Pug has a lead on XL, but it's only going to take one forward smash or one cross slash. Oh, yeah. And he's pretty close to getting it, too. Yeah. And right now, he's off stage. Let's see if Pug went to edge guard and smartly Ooh. used. Nice job there, avoiding Good. the forward there, charging, charging limit, and then gets back on stage. Yeah. Good understanding of where his uh, limit bar probably is to give him that advantage and uh, the ability to recover there. He was okay recovering low and air dodging because he knew he could get back up. And that's just knowing your character and knowing the situation, so that's a good job good by XL. Saved him, the, saved him the set, actually. Ooh, that was scary. And a back air is going to do it. it. Is going to clean it up, making it 1-1 in this best of five. And know what? That would have cost him the tournament. He charges the limit. He avoided the fair and gets back on stage, and now we have a game three. Wouldn't cost him the tournament. It's oh, a wait, best wait, 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 best of five. No, know what? That's so true. I'm so sorry about that, guys. But nonetheless, would it cost him the game? Keep on forgetting we're in losers finals now. I'm used to Mars being here. This is top three. The uh, loser of this plays hero, still right? Gets, uh, no, hero's fourth. He got. He's already out. And who's in grand finals right now? Grand finals is Rafi. Oh, okay. All right. All right, I respect that. I respect that. All right, so. So they're going to Battlefield. They want those platforms. Why not? Why the hell not? Right? I mean, that is definitely uh, this and Dreamland are stages that Pug really likes. Uh, he likes having those platforms. I'm willing to bet Dreamland was the band here. As um, with Cloud as well. Yeah. Um, and Cloud is perfectly okay with going to the stage. Um, but what I was going to say is, no, uh, he wants a lot like Game 2 for the counter pick because. That is a very XL stage. He's very comfortable with that stage. You know, yes, it teeters and totters, and that those ledges have the potential of messing you up. But w you know, when you're that comfortable, the option's always there. Ooh, it's the up air, but no kill, so he's just gonna land. Oh, oh. nice idea. But XL oh, was able to use such the up good idea. But he read it. He knew he was gonna go for something. Almost like a machine. It's just XL being like, I know you're gonna do something. I don't know what. But and he punches it properly too. Gets him oh, out of the way. Oh, but the up air catches him trying to land with the down air, and actually goes through, which means uh, first kill for Pug. Good convincing start to game three. That's a nice down air, forward air, forward air, forward air, and that is not it. It is it. Just yep. like that. Game Moment three is, is taken. So Pugs two up to one. And just like um, we were talking about earlier, get him off stage. <laughs> He's a goner. Mm -hmm. He is a goner. Just like that, three fairs in a row, and Pug West is one game away from going to the grand finals, playing against Rafi X. But game game four now, we're going to um, town and city. Yep, he wants those early kills, and those platforms are going to definitely help him out, especially oh, yeah. with those up airs. Um, and um, Town and City, if I'm not, if I'm correct, it does have a smaller flat zone than other stages, to my knowledge. Yes, it does. Um, horizontally. Um, vertically. Oh, vertically, not horizontally. All right. Uh, yeah, no, that has a lower ceiling. Um, especially if you're on those platforms, that is short, shorter than the rest of the world. It's a nice um, down air to up air. That's why. Uh, nice uh, that's why someone dodge. like Mars likes to. If he doesn't have Dreamland, he likes to go to Town and City because um, he can 
take that platform and get the up B uh, boost kick kill. Actually, where uh, where if he was on the stage like Battlefield, he's not getting that for days. And nice spike there. He's going to even it Good right spike. back up. And just earlier, um, XL with the nice aerials there and just kills him right away. And then Pugwitz right back with the spike. This is an even game as he does a nice counter there. Nice <laughs> grab to fo forward throw to forward air. Nice Ooh, up B being good creative there. Good that gives him a good amount of damage. Yeah. Unpunished as well. Down tilt. Nice dancing blade, but doesn't get all the hits for it. Able yep. to smash the eye out of it. XL going to have limit in like any hit now. Oh, nice yeah. down air, up air. So, e actually not too far off for either of you guys. It can go either way. It can go either way right now. Either way. All right, Pug just taking a nap. <laughs> Goes for the grab, doesn't get anything off of it. The back air, dancing blade. And any hit yeah. now for um, was, XL. This is a very oh. dangerous situation right now for Pug West. Just like that, Ooh. and that's not it. Not it. It's a little too far away. But, you know, it's going to be close. Um, now he's really going to have a little bit of trouble because he needs to get a smash attack. Oh, yeah, that or he has point. to like, just kind of camp a little bit when he's off stage and then yeah. just, like, charge limit a little bit. And, and you know, just, how, just how Cloud has limit, there are some tippers on Mars side. Oh, so yes. he's going to win 3-1 over XL, which means we got grand.